يتصور دائما باتباعه اخر متطلبات هيئه الصحه العالميه في الجود مانفاكشن براكتس في الصناعه الدوائيه الجيده. الاثنين دول مع بعض هدفه الرئيسي او ادى الى اخراج ادويه منتجه محليا ذات جوده وفعاليه وسيفتي عالي جدا. وحقيقه الظرف الاخير اللي عشناه ونحن في السودان اللي هو قمه الادويه عن طريق الاستيراد واضح جدا كان بالنسبه لنا الاقراص اللي في سكتور كاطباء او كصيادله او ناس بيعملوا في الحقل الصحي بالاضافه للمواطنين في ادويتنا المنتجه محليا. ونقل ونقل التكنولوجيا نفسه في الفتره الاخيره كان فيه سهوله بحيث انه ابديت كل الطرق التصنيع وطرق التحليل وطرق الوصول الى الجوده كانت متاحه للجميع. وكان في صراحه شباب وشابات سودانيين من جميع التخصصات لقوا فرصه في التدريب فاصبح الان عندنا هذه القاعده وهذه الانفراستراكشر اللي احنا نقدر ننطلق منها الى الامام. ولغايه ما وصل تقريبا المشاركه في الصناعه الوطنيه في حجم السوق السوداني الى ما يقرب الى 40% من حجم السوق ودي نسبه بنعتقد كما ونوعا نسبه جيده. بما يخص طب العيون وقطرات العيون ودي عاده يعني منطقه حساسه ما كل المستثمرين بيجوا فيها يعني بيتكلم على حبوب بيتكلم على شراب لكن اول ما تجي للعيون في ناس بتخاف منها فالمصنع باش فارما او شركه باش فارما بتتشرف بانها هي كان عندها المبادره في انها تنشي اول مصنع لقطرات العيون في السودان وبدا انتاجه من 2000 ومن قبل سنتين نزلت الادويه الى السوق ومعظم معظمكم حاليا يستعمل هذه الادويه عندنا الان موجود حوالي حوالي خمسه او سته ادويه مختلفه ولكن دائما القادم احلى بمعنى انه من خلال التواصل بتاعنا معاكم مع عدد كبير مقدر من الاطباء وحوجه المريض السوداني للليتست ميديكيشن بالذات في الجلوكوما والكومبينيشن بتاع الجلوكوما والانتي هيستامينز والانالجيزكس فالان الباي لاين بالنسبه لشركه باش فارما في عدد مقدر من هذه الادويه وان شاء الله في عدد كبير بين الوقت في 2020 وفي 2021 باذن الله تعالى. نتمنى لكم مؤتمر ونقاش ودسكشن جميل ومفيد خلال هذه الفتره ان شاء الله. فور نن عربيك سبيكرز وي هاف بين توكينج اباوت ذا ايفوليوشن اوف ذا فارماسيوتيكال مانفاكشرنج هير ان السودان ان جنرال اند هاو ان ذيس ديفيكال سيتويشن ناو از كونتربيوتنج هافينج اولموست اباوت ذا شير اراوند فورست بيرسون اند وي هاف توك اباوت ذا اولي اند ذا فيرس انفسترز In the line of uh, of Pharma Eye Drops, uh, which is a company Bash Pharma, uh, producing almost five uh, to six products now. And on the line, there are many uh, for uh, the combination of the anti-glaucoma, for the uh, antihistamines, analgesia, uh, uh, and so on. With the uh, consultation and the advisory of the uh, of Pharma Ministry in Sudan. Uh, thank you. Have a nice week. Thank you. Uh, I will be honored to deliver a very brief overview about progress and challenges in prevention of blindness. Uh, since the adoption of Vision 2020 program in 2003, as you know, Sudan joined Vision 2020 initiative in 2003. The initiative uh, deals with uh, progress in uh, human resources, infrastructure and technology, and uh, disease control. Uh, and it aims to uh, lower blindness and uh, visual impairment to uh, very low uh, limits because it is very known now that 80% of uh, blindness and visual impairment can be managed. Uh, uh, so it is very and uh, reasonable to find people blinded by diseases which can be controlled or prevented. 
Here we are showing the uh, estimates of uh, prevalence of blindness. In 2003, it was estimated to be 1.5% of the population of Sudan was blind. That means uh, two eyes were seeing less than three over 60 with best correction. In 2010, our estimates of blindness were 0.7%. And now in 2020, the latest estimate is 0.5%. Our target is to reach 0.2% uh, blind uh, population in Sudan. For human resources, infrastructure, and technology development, Sudan witnessed a uh, very remarkable development in infrastructure and uh, importation of technology and adoption of the new technologies in eye care. Uh, uh, so we have witnessed development in government sector, uh, as we have seen in Valadin Hospital, as the developments in Khartoum Eye Hospital, in addition to the uh, Ali Lane uh, uh, Eye Hospital. But the main progress was in the non-governmental sector, especially in uh, NGO sector. Uh, and Muscle Foundation has contributed uh, tremendously to development of high care in Sudan, as well as other uh, private sector hospitals. Our, our main problem in the development of infrastructure and technology is that it is still limited to uh, the capital of Sudan Khartoum or uh, very major cities outside Khartoum. So most of the states are still deprived of qualified centers uh, equipped with latest technology of high care. Uh, causes of blindness in Sudan compared to worldwide is still cataract is our main problem and, and the main cause of blindness. We estimate that 55% of our blindness is still caused by cataract despite all the developments in this field. That is followed by glaucoma, which represents 20% of our blind population. And unfortunately, glaucoma is a difficult uh, disease to be estimated uh, accurately and many also accurately because uh, mostly it is symptomless until very advanced stage. And people are still not keen to have regular checkups unless they have complaints in their eyes. The third cause in, in Sudan for blindness is the corneal blindness. As was stated by Professor Benita before me, uh, 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 corneal blindness is a very important uh, cause in Sudan, and we are pleased to see a lot of advancement in that respect. But still, we are unable to convince people to donate the, their corneas, and we are still importing corneas from outside, and that increases the cost for the patient. Uh, for the uh, whaling, cataract is still the main cause, it contributes for 50% of uh, the blindness. Glaucoma is less than we see in Sudan, it is about 8%. If we can compare uh, blindness in Sudan and globally, globally it is the average blindness worldwide is 0.47%. And in Sudan, as I, as I said, it is 0. Five uh, percent, so almost it is uh, equal to the average blindness in the world. And, and I will remind you again, we are targeting 0.2 percent, and that is not an easy job because when you are near to the target, things become difficult uh, uh, to, 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 to attain. So we estimate the number of blind population in Sudan currently at 200. Thousand people are blinded uh, due to different causes. For disease control, for cataract, uh, the cataract surgical rate or CSR is the number of people operated per million 
population per year. And in 2002, we had only 560 operations per million population per year. And that increased steadily until the, the year 2010. At that time, we were collecting data about the number of operations every year. And that has stopped in 2010. But the trend is increasing. The, the graph is increasing. And we estimate now to have between 3,000 and 4,000 operations per million population per year. But the target is to reach more than 4,000 uh, operations per million population per year to deal with the new, all the new cases of cataract. That means to eliminate the blindness due to cataract. To do that, we have to reach 4,000 or more per million population per year. But there is a dilemma in that respect because as all people who are operating on cataract patients can notice that we are operating mostly on non-blind people, according to the definition of WHO. We are dealing with people who are not blind. So we are not taking from the blind uh, community. Uh, 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 and that, that is why, because most of the blind people due to cataract are living in very remote areas, very unserved areas. So they are unnoticed. And that will, will be seen when we revise our figures about blindness despite the improvement in the number of cataract surgeries, we will still find people in remote areas blinded by cataract. We have another problem related to cataract safety rate. In Khartoum state, cataract safety rate exceeds 7,000 operations per million population per year. And that is very high and it can be compared with, with any advanced uh, country in the world. But when we look to the different states, we will find different states below the cutoff point, the minimum, is, uh, which is equal, which is 2,000 operations per million population per year. Almost all the states are below that uh, figure, and that reflects concentration of services in Khartoum. When we see or look to the progress in cataract surgery, and we take the time of cataract surgeries performed as an indicator. In 2002, more than three sets of operations were uh, done without intraocular lens implantation. Only about 20% of the operations had intraocular lens implanted. After 10 years in, 2000, uh, in 2009, uh, three quarters had IOLs, uh, one quarter had, uh, were, uh, were done uh, using FACO emulsification, and only about 2% were operating without IOL. And the situation now in 2020, in, in, two, in 2020 is uh, uh, about more than 90% of the operations are performed with FACO, 7% with a large incision and a small percentage, less than one percent, is without uh, IOL due to different uh, causes. And uh, that reflects a very good uh, progress. But still, we need to see the outcome to know that the quality is really improving because it is not enough to know the type of safety only. We have to see the outcome also. If we look at uh, the output or the surgeries per surgeon per year in the government sector, a surgeon performs about 170 operations per year in average. In NGO sector, 354 operations per surgeon per year. In private sector, 206. The average for Sudan is 246 operations per year per schedule. But when we see the international figures by like the US, in US, a schedule performs about 180 cataract surgeries per year in average. So Sudan is 
in a good position, but I think due to the relative low number of ophthalmologists, we need to perform more to attain our targets. There is a lot of barriers to obtain of available cataract uh, surgery services. Unfortunately and very sadly, the main cause, which, which is about 50% of patients who are not operated, are blinded by cataract and not operated, are due to cost. People cannot afford the cost of cataract surgeries, and that is the main cause of not, not having a surgery while becoming blind due to a very simple blinding disease. That is really very sad, despite the truth that the cost of cataract surgery in Sudan may be the least in the world, but still it is a high cost for average Sudanese patients. For trachoma uh, program, which is a very old program in Sudan, by the year 2019, or by the last year, 171 localities were mapped in Sudan out of the total 185 localities or districts. Uh, we are left with uh, 12 districts in Darfur, which are to be uh, mapped. 